everybody. My name is Stephanie Driscoll and I'm the Creative Services Librarian at the Schomburg Library. And all during the month of May, we are going to be learning about how you can become a better bird watcher. So for me, bird watching started out as something that I could do with my kids in the mornings when we were all getting used to our new normal. We started out buying different kinds of bird feeders for our yard, went on walks around the neighborhood, and then progressed to finding different trails in the forest preserves. It has definitely made all of us more appreciative of nature, but more interesting, it has made all of us a lot more observant. So, why should you get into watching birds? Well, in our strange circumstances right now, it's the perfect time to take up a new hobby. It's spring, birds are incredibly active right now, and lots of them are starting to build their nests. And did you know that there are about 10,000 different kinds of birds in the world? They live on every single continent, and birds are the easiest wild animals to find and observe. Not to mention, they're beautiful. Have you ever seen a hummingbird up close? Or spotted Illinois State bird, the cardinal in all of his bright red glory? And probably the best thing, it's something you can start doing right this minute. Just look outside your window, or better yet, go for a walk, and have just a little bit of patience. Of course, there are tools that can make your bird watching experience a little easier. The first thing is, of course, bird feeders. This way, you can make the birds come to you. So I wanted to show you just a couple of different bird feeders that I have set up in my own yard. In this corner last year, we put together kind of a pollinator garden to attract birds and butterflies. And in this area is where I have my main two bird feeders, a bird bath and a hummingbird feeder. I will be totally honest with you, the only visitors that I've been getting to the hummingbird feeder are raccoons, but I'm going to keep trying. So I have five bird feeders overall and use two different kinds of seeds. We use what's called a cardinal blend, and that's made up of mainly the black oil sunflower seeds. And then we also use a blend with smaller seeds like striped sunflower seeds and safflower seeds. Our favorite bird feeder is one that we put up right by the kitchen window. It's the kind that just suctions right to the glass, and we've had a pretty steady stream of finches visit since we've put that one up. So the next tool that you can have are binoculars. So these are uh, definitely nothing fancy. Um, I keep mine right by the back door so that I can literally, anytime I look out at the bird feeders and see a bird there, I can pick them up and take a quick glance at whatever I want to look at. It's also good to have a field guide. And of course, I mean, once you get down this rabbit hole, there are like millions to choose from. If you're just starting out with bird watching, I am going to recommend just a very simple um, field guide with only, like, I have one here, Amazing Birds of North America, and it's only going to have, um, I mean, maybe 20 to 30 of um, the most common types of birds that you're going to see. So this one, um, super simple, right? It's just going to show you the pictures, and then I, my kids really like this one because then in the back, you can check off your bird sighting and where you saw them, which obviously they love doing, and they're so super excited about. Um, there are also a lot of great apps out there. I have, um, it's called the Audubon app, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but I really like this because, um, and it's free, I like it because when um, we're out and we see a bird that we don't know what it is, we can't identify it, you can open up the app and say, you know, about what size it was and then you're going to list its colors and then it gives you it was probably here are the top five birds that it probably was so it really narrows that down for you so i love that um and also a lot of people like to go very analog with bird watching and of course that's great so maybe a very um simple notebook would work for you um because one of the great things about bird watching and you'll see this when you're getting into it is like really um, getting better at identifying it and getting better at um, knowing what birds you see and where you see them. And not only that, but when you see a new bird and adding that and the excitement of getting to add that to your list. So in whatever form, books, apps, notebooks, whatever form you want to do it, I would definitely recommend having somewhere um, to keep a list of your all-time birds that you see. 
Um, the last tool that I'm recommending, especially in this current season right now that we are in, are rain boots. So every morning when we head out to the forest preserves, I'm sorry, forest preserves, I put these on. Um, they definitely started out very shiny and clean, and the last few days have definitely changed that. But I think that means that they're doing their job. So just remember, the great thing about bird watching is that you literally, you don't need any of these tools. You don't need anything at all. So don't let any of these things stop you from enjoying your new hobby. So the last thing we need to see is actual birds. But this is where your help comes in. A new video like this will be coming out every Friday detailing new tips and tricks for bird watching. So all this next week, I want you to watch from your windows and get outside if it's nice and start looking. I would love to see what you found. And each week, if you send me your bird photos to this email address, I'll put them in next week's video for everyone to see. The email address is sdrisoll at stdl.org. Also, if you have any questions or you saw a bird and aren't sure what it was, just ask. I'm definitely not a professional, but we can work to solve the mystery together. I did want to leave you all with something to get started, however. So in the notes of this video, you'll find a link to the scavenger hunt that you can view from your phone or print out. This is a spring bird scavenger hunt, and it'll help you to start knowing the names of birds that you're seeing. I'm so excited that we're going on this journey together and I can't wait to see pictures of what you've spotted. Remember to be patient and before you know it, you are going to become an awesome backyard bird watcher. See you next week.